Hey guys, Star77 Productions here. Good to have you back on my channel. I do Amazon reviews, and in this one, it's gonna be a tour of my house and everything that I bought from Amazon. Mainly focused on electronics, stuff that I recommend, just a general overview of the things that I have throughout my house, and I will list them all down below so that you can follow the link and I might get a small commission on anything you purchase. So thanks again for watching, give us a thumbs up and a like, and let's get started today. First, let's have you look at uh, my little gaming area down here. We game with either the Xbox One down there, that's the Forza Motorsport version, and it is blue and kind of gives a engine startup sound uh, when you start it up. It has worked very well. I don't think you need to upgrade uh, to the uh, Series X just yet. The one seems to be just fine. And of course, you can always get the slim version. This is not the uh, slim version. And then we have our charging uh, stand here. You see we have the Forza Blue uh, Motorsport one. And then we also got a secondary Halo themed one as well on the Insignia Charger. And then we also like to game with the Switch. So there it is in its docking station. And uh, the Switch is still a great console as well, especially because you can do the handheld mode and have it as a tablet to watch movies and YouTube and whatnot and also game on it. And yes, they'll be coming out with the Switch Pro here very soon. But I think this one is still relevant. We have uh, Zelda up here on the screen, Breath of the Wild. One of my all-time favorite games. It was an absolute treat going through this game and trying to beat it with my son. And we use the uh, two controllers here, the Joy-Cons, and put them on the larger Switch setting when we're playing Zelda. So I'll have a link to the Xbox uh, One there, the Switch. The uh, Vizio television is a little bit older. It's kind of not one of the smart ones. It's a little bit on the heavier side, and uh, you can do much better for larger televisions, but that one still works very well. And then I'll also include the uh, accessories kit that we got, which has this nice carrying case and a couple little game holders and other cool features uh, for your Switch. So that's kind of our gaming area. And then when we want to do some PC gaming, uh, we have this PC uh, computer set up right here. The network is powered with the Netgear dual band router. So you can have the 2.5 gigahertz and the 5.0. So you'll have two different bands to choose from and it kind of keeps one clean if you're working on one and having fun on the other. And then the Aris um, modem right there. So those come together and they pair quite well. I've been using these guys for about three or four years now and I'll put links uh, to them as well. They cover this house very well and it is a 2,700 square foot house. So then when we come over to game, we got the PC gaming system here. And uh, this tower, I will put a link to it. It's got the three RGB fans up front. It's made by Corsair. Um, and it does a really good job. It's fairly cool in this basement, so I don't need too many fans. The three front fans work well. And then I also purchased the motherboard and the... Uh, CPU through Amazon as well. The graphics card was uh, used from my brother and the power supply was from uh, Micro Center. But other than that, uh, it was a pretty decent build through Amazon. And then we use this uh, Corsair RGB gaming keyboard. It's got the extra G1 through G6 uh, settings so that you can configure your keyboard to any particular game you want and choose those different modes. It's got different ways to light up and um, change the options through the Coursera software that's on your PC. And then we got one of the top of the line gaming mouses 
I believe it's like the G52 uh, or 502, something like that. I'll put a link to that one. It's got all the extra gaming side buttons that you could want with the adjustable scrolling wheel to be the click or the continuous movement. The G lights up here and can match uh, the keyboard and you set that up through a software as well. And it has all different types of uh, software for each different game. So as you're going through your game, you just uh, bring this up and pick the game you want. And some of the games are automatic, like it'll already have it built into the software. And so um, all you have to do is plug and play. And uh, these speakers uh, were very cheap. I would go with the Pebble 2.0s from Amazon. I'll put a link to those. These ones are decent, but uh, I got them at uh, Walmart and they're kind of knockoffs. Um, and then this Acer is a 24 inch screen monitor. I have two of these. I have one of these set up for my workstation as well. Highly recommend these ones and uh, I'll put a link to those as well. So that's kind of just a quick rundown of the, uh, gaming PC setup as well. So you can kind of see we are quite outfitted with electronics down here in the gaming room. Uh, and I'll put links to all those. All right, let's move on. Maybe I'll show you the um, little studio we have here. We have some surround sound set up in here. And this is a place where we can do some of our YouTube videos with the green screen in the background. Uh, the only electronics in here really are the Nikon camera here. DSLR camera, put a link to that on there as well. Uh, very high quality camera, uh, but if you want to film at 1080, you can only do about 30 minutes or so, or else you're going to have to put the resolution down, but it takes very, very good still pictures. So I will definitely put a link there if you're in the market for DSLR camera. Um, we have a speaker system here set up for high quality uh, video. Uh, I'm in audio, and this is a 3DO free space. Um, I do not believe you can get those on Amazon, but I can put a link there as well. And then just another external mic here if you don't want to use the external ears to get really binaural, you know, two-layer sounds. And then I record all the audio in the uh, H4N Pro made by Zoom. This one's a little bit more expensive than their smaller version, but it has three, or I'm sorry, four stereo outputs. It's got a much better mic pickup here if you're not, if you're not going to use another external mic. And you can uh, record it in the XL um, or XLR uh, microphones as well instead of just the regular 3.5 um, audio jack. So this is quite a nice little setup with two tripods here for filming in our little studio in case you're in the market for any of that stuff. And I will put links to the tripod as well. So that's pretty much what we outfitted the studio with. And I also did get this um, soundproofing here from Amazon as well to kind of filter out some of the airplanes that we hear overhead. All right, so that's a little overview of the studio. What are we at? About eight minutes now. That's not too bad. Let's go into our little uh, game room here slash office. This is where I uh, do my remote work. And as you can see, I really like those Acer 24 inch monitors. Uh, they have great platforms, great adjustability and quite a few uh, controls that you can do to keep it, uh, the graphics, you know, kind of pop a little bit. Let's put a link to that one. And then this is a smaller version of that Acer one, more as a uh, TV than a uh, monitor, but I just kind of use it as a monitor. And then my laptop of choice for remote work is definitely the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. So I think you can see the emblem right there, the ThinkPad uh, X1, and this is the light carbon one. The only thing I really don't like about this model is that the battery does not last very long at all. I think you only get about four to five hours. 
So it is lightweight, it's easy to travel with. It is a great little um, laptop here, but that's one of the only downsides. Everything else has been pretty good on this. It is super fast and it's got a solid state drive. So, um, you know, the CPU processes stuff very, very quickly and it's got the uh, quad, quad core in it. Um, and I also did get this docking station. Lenovo specifically makes this one so that you can have your laptop closed. You can have the power running into this. You can have an external um, monitor running through one and then an external monitor running through the actual uh, laptop and you can have your dual screens set up without having to worry about having to look at the smaller screen on your laptop. So I do that primarily most of the time without having to, um, unless I'm traveling, then I'll just use this one and maybe something smaller as well. And then I went with the Logitech keyboard here with the pairing mouse. I think this one's a little bit more comfortable. It's got the rounded out keys. It's got some great adjustability features and easy ways to dim your screen, you know, or change the audio sounds and just a couple other cool features like that. And it's got a much nicer, softer resting pad for your uh, hands here to kind of help with that typing for all day long. And then I do have this backup Microsoft one. This one's not so great of a travel one since it's got a little bit larger of a USB input here. So it does kind of stick out. But for the price, this is a little bit cheaper, made by Microsoft. It feels very good um, and just a great sturdy, uh, easy to use setup here. So that's kind of what I use for my um, working remote and I will set some uh, links to those as well. And let's see what else we got. Not a huge fan of this printer. I got that at Best Buy anyway. Um, this dartboard we got on Amazon. It was one of the better ones you can get with the real horse hair. Um, just do not leave the darts in it because the horse hair will keep little holes in there. So you want to uh, pull those out every time you play. But this one, if it's hung properly, and has a nice backboard, has been a great, almost professional grade uh, dartboard. So that's another gift you can kind of think of as well. Um, here we got these punching and um, kicking ba uh, bags here. So these ones are handheld for uh, punching strikes and made by Sanibel. We have the matching uh, punching gloves. I think I have a 14 ounce and a 12 ounce and then I even got a 10 ounce pair for my son and then this kicking uh, pad as well. He does a lot of taekwondo so it's perfect. I'll put the links to that and then for our workout area I did get this Marcy bench off of Amazon and it has worked very well. It's a little on the hard side but it's definitely durable and helps when you're doing a little bit more weight. The weight bench actually came from uh, Walmart. It is uh, gold and I don't even think they make that one anymore, but they still sell this Marcy bench if you have some free weights. So uh, definitely look for that. And then we also got this uh, plyo box as well. So this one is, is fairly cheap and it's a plyo box that uh, you can do quite a few leg raises on, calf raises, and uh, you know, jump on and stuff. We did that little bit of painting down there once we got it in, but this one's super durable, has nice handles, and it was easy to put together. And then we have a Google Home Hub. Amazon doesn't really sell those, but we have an Alexa as well, and uh, definitely recommend those. All right, so that's kind of it for the downstairs electronics. Let's see what we got upstairs. Continue to give you guys some good Christmas shopping ideas, what works for us and what we kind of use throughout this house. Um, in this corner, we have the uh, InPix Play and you can get these. Basically, you just upload all your pictures onto their website and then you run them through the network into this little picture frame and it kind of shows pictures throughout the day 
and it'll turn on and off based on movement. And it comes with this really cool um, remote, kind of small, mix play. And you can fast forward, uh, change the different ones, turn it on and off, and change the picture layout. And then we have another Google uh, Home Hub here as well. But like I said, Amazon will just have the uh, Alexas. So up here, we have this uh, Yamaha EW310 PSR. And I did a complete review on this one. So I think you guys are familiar with that setup. Also, in regards to music, we got this uh, guitar here. And for the price point, it is a very good sounding guitar. We have yet to hook it up to an amplifier because it, it is acoustic, but you can hook it up. You have these levels over here. Um, and the plug-in right there. But for the money, this is a very good guitar. We've been taking lessons here uh, at least once a week and I haven't had any problems with it at all. Very easy to tune, very easy to play. Slightly, slightly compact, you know, not very full size, but still a cool looking guitar and great for the little ones as well. So I'll put a link to that one for you guys. And what else? Then we got this uh, Vizio here, smart television. This one, the only con I have about this is the sound quality. It is pretty poor. I'll put the link to it, but you're definitely gonna want a sound bar with this one. So I'll put a link to the sound bar that I'm gonna be getting for Christmas to attach to this one. That's really my only con of this one, but it does have really good smart capabilities. It's super easy to cast anything to it. My devices always find it and you can just easily cast up to it. And then it's, uh, since it's smart, it works fairly fast. You know, it's got a processor that's not huge. So it does, it is delayed a little bit, but we usually just hook up the cable or the Amazon Fire Stick to it and use it just fine. So I'll put a link to this one as well, but it, it's been a really good uh, TV for us and not very expensive at all. And the remote also works with anything you really want, like Hulu, uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Redbox, quite a few other options. And if you do have your side um, Amazon Fire TV stick, it'll work as well. So you only need that one remote. So pretty good uh, picture quality. It's just bad, poor sound. So you definitely want a soundbar with that one. All right, what else? As far as uh, the kitchen, really the only thing I could think of is this Keurig. We had the old school one, and this is the new one that's the slim version. Um, so as you can tell, it's super slim. And let's see, it's a little bit better as far as holding a little bit more water back there. I also like it because you don't have to sit here and wait for it to warm up. Basically, you can just put your Keurig cup in there shut it down, pick the one that you want, and then hit K, and it'll start working all in one. It'll start heating up, it'll start getting ready. You just have your cup down there and uh, let it go. And it's not like you have to wait for it to heat up like something like the older model that I had. So definitely recommend the Keurig Slim. Put a link to that one as well, and it holds a little bit more water, and I think it just looks a little bit sleeker. And it has that nice 12 ounce pour there. So you can actually make some very big uh, cups of coffee or when you need to heat up ramen noodles or something like that and you need a lot of hot water, it works out perfectly for that. Uh, this Exo Gear is our little sound box and it's Bluetooth. I do not believe they sell these anymore, but I will put a link to it if I can find it. And... Um, I definitely recommend the Bose ones though. And then here we got a uh, Amazon Fire tablet. This one's for the kids. And um, it comes with the extra padding there. This one's the older model. We also upgraded to the newer model. Highly recommend those with the parental features and just the easy navigation, the tons of free games. 
If you're set up with Amazon Prime, then of course you get all those videos, you get all those uh, books and everything that comes along with it when you're a Prime member. So highly recommend these. This one's like a tank, especially with the blue foam around it. We've had this for over five years, I want to say. And then the new one is fairly similar with a little bit better quality, a little bit more memory, but still the same great features and a nice foam that it comes with. And here we also have the um, hoverboard. It's kind of your standard hoverboard camo. It's got some sweet lights that turn on when you uh, turn it up. And it's got awesome speakers because you can do Bluetooth through it through your phone. So you can jam out to music, have it light up. And uh, it works very, very well. So I'll definitely put a link to this one. And I actually have a review as well for this guy. So uh, feel free to check that out as well. But just an awesome hoverboard, especially when you're jamming to music. And then lastly here, just a uh, Dell personal computer I use with the i5. You can get those on Amazon as well. And those are great all around computers with good solid state drives. These are the noise canceling headphones I use. Um, for a cheap pair, they are not too bad. They are the Sanogs, and I haven't had any problems with them. They definitely keep sound out and work very well, and uh, I will put a link to those as well. And back off into the bedroom here. Just a couple more items back here. Uh, this is an Insignia television. It was one of the cheapest ones I can find. I just wanted a small, smart television for my bedroom. Nothing too fancy. This one is smart, but it's a little bit harder to cast on than that Vizio I found in the front room. Um, unless you have the Amazon Fire Stick cooked to it, then you can easily cast stuff to it. Um, and it doesn't have quite as many features, but for such a cheap you know smart television from insignia the sound is even better than the vizio and the picture quality is just about the same so definitely put a link to this one as well it's a nice easy television to have and then let's see what else we have this um one of my favorite tablets here this is the samsung galaxy tab a and i ha actually have two of these and um just the best tablet I've come across is probably like my fourth or fifth tablet. It's got a lot of memory. It is super fast and the battery lasts forever. I probably charge this once every week, once every 10 days. Um, haven't had any problems with it. Great sound quality, um, great video, and uh, it's just super speedy fast. You know, the process in here is really good and I've Always try to keep everything clean and not get too many, um, you know, spam or adware on it. So it's been pretty fast for me, but definitely recommend this. And it's got this really nice leather case um, that I can also put a link to. It has the perfect camera slot for it. And it's very sleek and slim and turns the screen off as soon as you close it. So definitely highly recommend this uh, Tab A tablet as well which has been on the market for quite some time but still well worth the money so i think that is about it so follow the link to all those um ideas down below i wish you guys happy holidays hopefully some of those will uh, spark some ideas and have you searching for good products on amazon and thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe